Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. Now, when we left off, we had just a very close run match with the human team, and we drew with them. Now, unfortunately enough, as we can see at our team roster page, we have Uglor, or Uiglor, however you want to pronounce it. He has an injury, and he has lost one movement allowance, and that is all because we had no apothecary. But we are going to be purchasing one right now because we really need one. So there it is. We now have an apothe apothecary, which will re-roll one injury during the match, which will be absolutely amazing. Very, very nice indeed to see one of those. And... Yes, we could also get a sponsor. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the sponsors do here, but I'm thinking we'll probably go for one of those maybe once we have a level 2 stadium or something along those lines. I don't think the sponsors actually do much, but as you can see, we are now back up at the same team value, team value as the Skaven. So this is going to be very, very good because now we are on an even footing, and if you can recall, we crushed the previous Skaven team. So I'm going to be very, very hopeful that we will be able to do the same here. So, let us start the match. Okay, so we have no petty cash, of course. We are being given one journeyman as well, and it brings the... Oh, wow, okay. It brings the team value to 1,090, which is pretty cool. So we have 11 players. This is something that happened with my other team that you may have seen on the previous screen, the Chaos team that I was using just as a way to have some fun as well. And, well... It's very, very cool because you get a journeyman. They have loner, which is a pretty bad stat to have, to be honest. Let me see if I can actually... Yes, I can actually see loner on here. There it is. So a loner may use team rerolls, but has to roll a d6 first. On a roll of 4+, plus, he may use the team reroll as normal. So, in other words, this guy is going to be very difficult to use if you're using a very risky maneuver or something along those lines. But otherwise, what you can do is, if he has actually done something amazing in the particular match, like injure someone or maybe even score a touchdown, then this guy will be able to join your team, which is actually pretty cool, but obviously we don't really need to buy him if we don't want to, because our Blitzer is coming back in the next round. So let us validate and get ready for the match. Now, do bear in mind that when our Blitzer returns, he is going to only be able to have five movement allowance, and for this one, we only have three Blitzers, and our Blitzers are actually some of the best units, if not the best units, for our team to currently have. And as you can see, we are actually joining the Skaven Stadium, and ah, they actually have that thrower again. I'm not incredibly pleased seeing that, because that guy actually was very difficult to pin down, very difficult to injure. And we are going to be, hmm, I think considering they're Skaven, we may want to go defense... Hmm, not entirely sure. I went defense before with the humans, and you saw how that went, but I think the humans were a little bit more sneaky than I gave them credit for, but oh no, I've just said that about the Skaven. Goodness me, yes, the Skaven are incredibly sneaky, as we know, and they do... Oh no, this gutter runner actually has... Yeah, they do have dodge. The gutter runners have... This team has four gutter runners? Okay. Well... Two gutter runners, wait, wait, four gutter runners, and two throwers. Okay, we know what they're going to be doing. They're going to be scoring a lot. But we have to crush them into the dirt. Yes, we do. So, let's just confirm our setup right now and see what they're going to be doing. These gutter runners are just going to score in two turns if we allow them to do such a thing. Hopefully, we will not. I'm going to kick it right in the center here. Hopefully, our linemen will do a good job at kicking it. Oh, some randomly selected players are stunned. Please don't let that be our team. Of course it is our team. Of course, because the Skaven don't have enough gutter runners. They don't have enough gutter runners at all. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if the throwers are actually going to go and pick up the ball first and the gutter runners are going to run all the way down the pitch. And, oh, never mind. Okay, they're just going to give it to a gutter runner. That is actually a little bit worrying for them, I would say, because we could blitz that guy very easily and maybe even inflict an injury. So I'm not entirely sure, but let's just see what's going to go down here. Okay, this guy actually is a blitzer, technically. This storm vermin 
unit actually has block, so hopefully they will not be able to inflict any injuries upon us. Are you... Wow. Okay. Apparently so. We're not going to be using the apothecary on that. It is just a gouged eye. Nothing to worry about there. But that storm vermin was able to injure us immediately. Hopefully... Yes, thankfully enough. Hopefully we are going to be able to trip this guy up once again. Nope. He was, of course, able to dodge past. Ah, okay. So, not a good start. Definitely not a good start. But, even if we lose, I do believe we go through to the loser's bracket. So... Yeah, I am not incredibly pleased about this so far. They are actually causing a pretty nice box. Well, not a box, really, but more of a line of tackle zones to appear around their units. And Grohar is our new lineman here. Okay, so we have our Goblin Watbum. He has, thankfully, gotten sidestep now, so hopefully he'll be a little bit more difficult to kill. And basically all of our Blitzers have been stunned. This is rather amusing, suffice it to say. So we're going to just block this guy, try and inflict some injuries. <laughs> oh, yes. Nope, never going to happen. Okay, so yes, obviously the Storm Vermin do have, well, do actually have an armor value of 8. So it's unlikely that we're going to be able to inflict much upon them. And this is where it gets a little bit difficult, because this guy is going to obviously get some strength from his comrade over there with the ball, so we're probably going to have to deal some damage to probably this guy. Because we're still going to give ourselves a little... Ah, of course. Okay, so this Black Orc actually has block now, so we're going to use a both down roll, and oh, yes, there we go. That's what we want to see. We want to see some KOs right now, thank you very much. And we still have a tackle zone here. This gutter runner now has to run all the way around, which is going to hopefully help us out because Gralop is right there, and hopefully he will get up by the time we need him to. And we're going to put our lineman next to this guy just to mark him so he can't move around too easily. And that's all we can do, really. I don't really want to move Watbum into any situation here where he can just get absolutely massacred. I think we're actually just going to move him over there and see if we can assist Tradar there and end the turn. That was a, such a brutal turn one, wasn't it? I mean, seriously, I cannot believe that they stunned all four of our players at the very beginning. Now, this Storm Vermin is definitely going to receive a pass. No doubt from this guy who's going to hand off the ball to the thrower and then the thrower is going to just toss it downfield and we're probably going to have a really fun time, aren't we? So we're actually going to go for defender stumbles here because this storm vermin has block and both down does not work. So that's the reason why we need to get our black orcs block as soon as they can. But we're going to use stumble here unfortunately enough. Hopefully won't injure him or anything like that. It doesn't seem so, and look at the speed of the gutter runner. It just goes all the way from there over to here, almost to the end zone already. That is just insane, and yes, this is the guy with the ball. Yeah, that's how quick they are. That is insane. Yes, that speed is just incredible, absolutely incredible. Okay, so we are actually not going to be able to stop them, I don't believe. We are not going to be able to stop them. That really... Ah, oh, that initial roll, the initial roll where four of our players were stunned, that is definitely going to cause us to lose. Oh, okay, they're actually having some problems here. He's deciding to go for it. I'm not entirely sure why he would decide to go for it, but he's going to... Oh, God, oh, my goodness. Wow, that is that is very impressive, to suffice it to say, and he has actually injured himself. Okay, better him than me, I suppose. Okay, so they're giving us a chance. Not on purpose, mind you, but they are giving us a chance. So let's just actually see whether this is even possible. So we can, in theory, move our Blitzer over here with a go-for-it roll and a chance to dodge of 17%. I actually feel like letting them score just so that we can get the ball back. 
And then we'll go on offense and hopefully score ourselves before the halftime break. That seems maybe like the only way we are going to do this. Also, I would love to be able to deal some damage to this rat over here. So let's try and take out this thrower as quickly as we can. And we'll try and get this guy up here as well. We're going to try and do as much damage to these guys as we possibly can before the break. Before they score, that is. And we're going to see what happens then. We're just going to get all these guys up here. There we go. Okay, so, yeah. Let's try and do some damage to this lineman right here. Oh, yes. Very nice. Okay, is that an injury? Nope. It's just a stun. That's unfortunate. I was hoping for a KO or an injury. That would have been nice. But nevertheless, we have a blitzer with Mighty Blow. And I believe... It would be a very good idea to attack this gutter runner, so let's do that. We need to kill this gutter runner, really. Okay, I'm going to re-roll that. Oh yeah, thank you. Now please, injury. We want an injury, thank you very much. No injury? Okay, that's a stun. Unfortunate, unfortunate, but what can you do? And now we're hopefully going to deal some damage to this lineman as well. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Okay. And there's an injury. Thank you. Okay, so even though we injured only a lineman, at least they are losing players. And that's exactly what we want to see. We really do not want them to have more players than us, of course. Especially if one of those rolls happens again. Which, it's unlikely... Yeah, it's unlikely that's, that's going to happen again. But nevertheless... I'm going to end the turn, and we're obviously going to see them score, but it is necessary. It is necessary for the greater strategy to work. Of course, they're not going to take any blocks against us, because we are a bashy team, and they are not. Four gutter runners, really. Four gutter runners. I cannot believe it. But there it is. They were able to score, and we have the cheerleaders, of course, celebrating for them. And hopefully they will not gain their... Yes, they didn't gain their KO'd unit back. And one of our units is, of course, injured as well. So let's just see here. We are now in offense. So we're going to be, hopefully, dealing some pretty considerable damage. Now let's see here. I would like to... Yes, that's much better. I would like to get more units at the front, if possible. And Watbum will be dealing with the ball... If at all possible. Okay, perfect defense. Oh, really? Okay, so they are basically putting everything in the Skaven's favor right now. Every single roll seems to go their way, which is, well, suffice it to say, rather irritating. But that is the way the dice goes every now and again. And so, we are going to be dealing some damage here. I'd love to use this guy against one of their throwers. I really would. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and pulverize this Storm Vermin. Or at least not pulverize him, but maybe just move him. I'm going to try and deal some damage to this one as well. Okay, that's good enough. Maybe. We'll see. Nope. No such luck for any injuries right there, but maybe we'll be able to do some to this lineman. We might be in luck. That's a one dice. Not incredibly happy about that, but we could move this lineman in here. And let's see. Yes, there's a two dice. And attacker down both of them. Of course there is. Okay, so there's a nice stumble. That's okay. Okay, still no such luck though, really. And we'll move this lineman in here. And we're going to be blitzing this thrower because I am mad. And we want to take out our rage upon these fellows. Hopefully. Okay, so we have block, he doesn't, so we're going to use bo both down. Hopefully a nice... Yes! Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. So, Srineo is doing just as I wanted him to, and that is, of course, inflicting injuries. As many injuries as he can. So we're going to be moving one of our blitzers over there to mark one of the throwers. And we're going to be marking the other gutter runner as well. Even though that gutter runner is going to be easily able to dodge out of our tackle zone, unfortunately enough. I do believe. I think. Maybe they will be able to, but we'll see. And let's go and try our luck at 67% chance to pick up. Wow, he actually did it. He actually did it. Well, good job, Watbum. Because usually 
You drop the ball every time, but nevertheless, thank you. So, let's see what they decide to do. We have not marked one of their gutter runners, so he's going to be running on over freely. And we're going to see what we can do when all of their teammates get up. We are hopefully going to inflict great damage to them. And there, of course, he is able to very easily avoid us because he has four agility and dodge. How can we pin him down with that? Well, not very easily, that's for sure. So let's see. Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That turn was actually very good for us. They only took out one of our units, and we are actually quite easily able to deal some damage to this gutter runner now as well. Unfortunately, not able to very easily because, of course, he has dodge and we can't use Defender Stumbles because he'll just dodge it. So we're going to instead use Push into one of our Black Orcs. And that still does not give us any opportunity to do some bashing. Okay, so let's see here. Anything I can do here? I could do this, which is not good. So we're going to be doing that again. Thank you. We've used all our rerolls, which is really not good by turn four. But hopefully that's an injury. That is a KO. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take the KO. Why not? And we're going to be skipping that. Thank you. And we're going to get one of our linemen up here. And now I'm going to try and move this lineman in here. And I would love to be able to move Watbum before we take any other actions. That would be reasonable, I believe. Yes, let's do that. Try and get him into a position where he can actually... Well, make his way down the pitch. That would be rather good, wouldn't it? So let's just push these guys over here. Hopefully prevent them from moving any further towards our ball carrier, of course. And we're going to try and do some damage to the Storm Vermin. I feel like the linemen are not incredibly useful to them, as they don't have block or anything. But, of course, I do want to take out the Storm Vermin as much as I can. So let's use a Blitz against their other gutter runner. And we'll hope... Yes. Okay. This is good. An injury? Oh, yes. Thank you very much. That is another injury. Thank you, Srinail. He is doing an absolutely grand job right here. Absolutely amazing. And now we do have a Blitzer versus a Thrower, but they have both the same strength values. So we're going to hope for a one dice. Now, that's a push. Okay, we're going to be pushing him back over here then. Well, that's not too bad. Watbum is in an okay position apart from against this lineman here. So we're just going to hope that he does not get out of the tackle zones. He got out of all of the tackle zones of three units. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Now, Watbum is probably going to have some difficulties. I'm going to assume. Oh, I want to go over here. Okay. Okay, now that gutter runner cannot make it. Okay, he made it. Okay, of course he made it, because gutter runners with four agility and dodge, of course. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, that is remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Okay, so let's see here. What can we do? Well, Black Orcs are pretty immobile. They don't have too much movement allowance, so we're going to try and push this guy over here so that we can free up some of our linemen. And then this lineman is going to stand here. And we're going to be attempting a one dice block. Really? Why do we have a one dice block? I would think that we have... Oh, wait. Against that guy we do, but against this guy we have a two dice. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I was reading that incorrectly, of course. Now let's hope... Not good. That is not good. Hmm. I have a feeling that we are going to be having some difficulties, suffice it to say. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to be moving Strenail over here. I don't think he can... Can he make it? He might actually be able to make it, but I think that seeing as we've moved now, we won't be able to... Yeah, we won't be able to use him again. So we're just going to try and deal some damage to this lineman then. 
Yeah, there we are. Okay, so this guy is going to have to dodge out of, well, two tackle zones, technically, and he's probably going to easily be able to do that, and he's going to make it to the end, because he'll no doubt roll some go-for-its, and that will be it. So, that will be a very quick 2-0. Wow, he's actually deciding to take us out. That is a little unfortunate, suffice it to say. Oh! Oh my! Oh my! Now that is impressive. I like that a lot. Okay, very good. Who was this? Who was this orc? That was... Morglack. Okay, thank you very much, Morglack. You did your job incredibly well. Very nice indeed. And now we're going to be blitzing this guy. Because, goodness knows, we want to injure this guy very, very much. If we can. Which we didn't. We gained some pushes. Okay, that's not too bad, I suppose. And we're going to be moving this guy over here as well, just to make sure that this guy is completely boxed in. As much as possible, at least. A nice stumble will do. There we have it. Thank you. Okay, so now we can deal with some of these other guys here. We can hopefully deal significant damage to them. Or not, as the case may be. Seems to be the case many times. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Ah, yes, there we go. Thank you. Stun? That is a stun. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. As long as he can't do anything, that's all I need to know. And let's see here. Okay, we're going to try... We can't blitz, obviously, but we're going to be moving this guy over here and assisting on the thrower. So we get two dice. And that will be very, very good. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay, no such luck with any injuries there. Now, this... Well, I would like to move this guy over here. So we're going to do that. I think this Black Orc can very easily deal with... What is this? This is just a regular lineman. So we're perfectly fine with that. Let's move him there. And we'll end the turn. Now, we have two turns to score. So we need Watbum to pick up the ball next turn not to drop it, and then to run all the way, well, probably around here. Oh, never mind. It appears as though he attempted to dodge. Out of a tackle zone. Now, please fail again. Nope, he didn't fail, but he might... Yep. He might trip. He might trip. That is very, very good. I like that. Oh, yes. And there's the ball, and Watbum did not pick it up, but it is now a little bit further away. So that's good, because now we can make our way over mm, a little bit quicker, I hope. So, let's see here. We want to mark this guy. And we're going to hopefully move this Black Orc into range as well. Maybe we can actually eliminate this guy just to make certain... That's not good. Okay, well... That was a bad... Bad decision to block there, but I anticipated, seeing as we had two dice, that we would quite easily be able to deal with it. But no, the dice is not being kind to us today. Oh, and he managed to actually drop it twice. Wow, very nice indeed. Okay, and wow, okay, one of our blitzers actually picked it up too. Okay, that's how you pick up a ball, what bum? Take notes, thank you. So let's just see here. I'm going to just... Yep. We have no chance of getting to the end zone to score this. So we are pretty much going to try to injure this gutter runner as much as we can. So we're going to be moving everyone in here and attacking with Srenail when we can. And I'm actually going to try to injure this guy first. It's a little bit safer to try with a blitzer because obviously it has block. Probably should have done that beforehand. Uh, does it have dodge? I don't think it has dodge, actually. No, it doesn't. Well, thank you for that. Unfortunately, it is still a stun. I was hoping for an injury there, but nevertheless, Srineo is hungry. And a three dice block is the answer. And I believe it is. Oh, yes. Now, I was hoping for something a little bit more there, Srenel, but nevertheless, you did your best, and we are now just going to deal as much damage as we can. That's pretty much all we can do, and there it is. That's half-time. 
Unfortunate, isn't it? Well, we did stop them from scoring a second time, which I gotta say is not the greatest of achievements. But, we stopped them from scoring a second time. <laughs> which is somewhat okay, isn't it? It's not that bad, considering they have gutter runners all over the place. We have injured four of them, and hopefully... Oh my. Six of their players have been eliminated, so we should, in all theory, be able to score another two, if at all possible. Another two touchdowns would be absolutely amazing right now. So we are in defense right now. We're in attack. Oh, thank goodness. So let's just accept that. That's fine. And we'll see what we can do with eliminating all of these rats. We just need to... No, please no. Oh, and yet again. Yet again, they select us. Okay, so the dice is not good to us today. The dice is not very good at all. Okay, so we're going to be moving in here with our units just to supplement many of the units that have been taken out with stuns, random stuns, mind you. And we're going to be blitzing on this guy, but even so, still just a one dice. Can I get a better one? No, apparently not. Well, we're going to try blitzing a one dice. We have all of our rerolls back, so I may as well. There we are. Now give me some mighty blow action. Maybe. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Okay, a nice KO there. Okay, so now he's off the pitch. That's good. So now where's the... Of course. Of course the ball is all the way over there. Ah. Oh. Yes, they would do that, wouldn't they? Okay, so let's put a blitzer there. And we're going to be dealing severe damage to this Storm Vermin, hopefully. Ah, oh, no such luck. Not just yet, anyway. And we're going to be moving this Black Orc over there to the thrower, just to pin him down a little. And then we'll see where we go with Watbum, which is, of course, over here to the ball. He needs to use a go-for-it roll. Oh. Okay, so we're not going to use go-for-it. We're just going to go all the way over there. There we are. Okay, that's all we can do. Now, we just have to hope that we either draw or win, because otherwise we are eliminated from this competition, and that would not be good. But as I say, I do believe we are put into the loser's bracket? I think so, at least. Wow, I cannot believe he actually escaped that. Well, can we? I think we can actually believe that, because four agility and dodge. Oh, yes. Okay, can't really do much there. Okay, so we're going to get these guys up. We can, thankfully, do that now. And let's see. Okay, well, we can't really do much over here. We could actually blitz with this, which we are going to do. Okay, let's try. Is that an... Ooh, very nice. Okay, so another KO. That's good. That is absolutely fine. Mighty Blow actually came in handy there as well. It did actually proc. Very good. And now we can hopefully... Yes, a two dice block against this Storm Vermin, which actually does not lead to anything. However, it might lead him into this Black Orc's Clutches. Ah, which doesn't seem to actually do much, which is a little unfortunate. So let's see. Maybe I can actually do this. No. Okay. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? But nothing really to be too disappointed by. There we are. Okay, we are pinning them down very nicely indeed. So now let us just put all of our faith in Watbum. And he actually picked it up. Oh my. Okay. So let's move him back along the right side of the pitch because no Skaven are over there. Not just yet, anyway. Wow, he's actually moving right next to a blitzer. I may not have done that, but nevertheless, it is his decision whether he becomes injured or not. Now, in all theory, we should win this because they have so many of their team in the hospital, technically, that they should be dying almost all the time, but yes, obviously a little bit unlucky with the wow, very unlucky with the rolls right here gotta say let's just see if we can actually deal some damage to this guy, yes, there we go 
Okay, now there's Srinail, so we're going to deal some damage to this guy. Okay, come on. Ah, that's a stun. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Very nice to see that, at least. And now we're actually going to be marking this thrower as well, and maybe we can get a Black Orc on the action here, in on the action. And let's deal some damage. Okay, let's re-roll that. Ah, very nice, thank you. Okay, so we're going to now be moving Watbum up here. Everything seems to actually be working quite nicely right now. We are going to be moving our lineman over here as well. Don't really need his support in the middle any further. So now let's deal some damage. Oh yes, there we go. An armor value of 7, yet unable to deal some injuries to these gutter runners. Well, at least one of them. All of the rest are lying over there, so I suppose I really shouldn't complain too much. And we're now going to be... Hmm. Yes, we're now going to be placing this guy over here because we want to mark this storm vermin here. Make sure he doesn't get out. Make sure he is not able to blitz. What bum? Because he does need to survive. Now let's see... What is he going to do? He's not going to blitz. Okay, so basically they are trapped. They really cannot do anything by the looks of things. So I am very happy with that. Very happy indeed. So let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay. Three dice block. And still unable to get... Okay, I'm going to re-roll this. It's probably going to be absolutely pointless. Yes. Absolutely pointless, but we're going to do it nevertheless. Okay. How about another one? There we are. That's what we like to see. Okay, so I'm actually going to... Hmm. Let's push this guy out over here. And then let's deal some damage. Wait a minute. Shall we just move Watbum first? I think we'll move him first, because you never know when we're going to get a bad roll on a block. It could be very, very soon indeed. And we're going to try and blitz this guy, just to make sure he goes down. There we go. And now we can hopefully... Yes, we can. So let's just move this guy in here, just to get potential assists with our strength. Oh yes, very nice rolls. Very nice rolls over here. And maybe that's an injury? No, it is, a, of course, a stun. But that is absolutely fine. And, yes, we're going to be moving over here. Okay, well, that appears to be a very easy... Well, I say very easy, but that appears to be a score, anyway. And we'll see whether this guy... He is going to blitz us, but he's actually making a huge mistake right there. Now, he is going to re-roll that, no doubt, but 67% chance is not... Wow, okay. I was going to say, is not necessarily going to work. Now, we do have sidestep, so we're going to be going over that way. Okay, well... <laughs> ah, he seems to have stepped into a world of hurt. So, let's just see what we can do here. Okay, so where is Thrinail when we need him? Oh, he's over here. Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? That is very unfortunate. Okay, well, we're going to have to do some damage with Tradar then instead. Can't really do much, though. Okay, so let's just deal some damage to these guys. If we get a bad roll, then we can always re-roll. We're just going to try and do as much as we can. Okay, now, three dice block? Nah, almost. Okay, we'll just move around there and try to... Oh my, that's a one dice. Okay, that was quite the mistake, I do believe. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Very close. That is a two dice. Come on. Yes. Now maybe... Thank you very much. Okay, that's what I like to see. Our Black Orcs getting star player points. Oh yes, and I believe that is indeed... An 83% chance for a go for it. And he managed to do it. There we go. Thank you very much. So there is a touchdown for us. And that 
draws it up to 1-1. Oh my. Yes, look at all of their injuries. Now please let none of them get up. Yes, none of them are getting up. And of course we still have our one injured, which is absolutely fine. No problem at all there. And they actually only have three units on the field. So this is hopefully going to equal yet another score for us. So I'm actually going to kick the ball a little bit close here. Just so that we can pick it up as soon as possible. And it's going to change the weather a little bit. There we are. It's in the center. That's actually very nicely placed in my opinion. Hopefully we're going to... Hmm, I was hoping we would actually hit that guy as he was attempting to pick it up. But obviously no such luck. So where is Srinail? He is over here always. Yes, he is. So we're going to try and take... Wow, that was a lucky roll on the Storm Vermin's part. But we're going to try and take Srinail over there to blitz this guy as soon as possible. Wow, they're getting Defender down? Really? Oh my goodness, with one dice blocks. If that injures him, I'm going to be... Okay, well, a KO is okay. I'm pretty sure. Not too bad. We'll skip the Apothecary. We never know. There may actually be a need to use him at some point. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so I know what we're going to do. We're going to put this guy over here. And we're going to place this guy here, just in case. You never know when we will have... Oh my. I have a feeling this is going to be very, very, very painful for this gutter runner. If we can actually make this work. Which I'm very hopeful that we will be able to. Let's just see, shall we? Okay, so who do we want to take out first? We, will, we want to take out the Storm Vermin, of course. But first... I think we probably want to move Wattbum over there, just to make sure. And we're then going to be moving this guy for a three dice block and an 83% go for it. So, let's just go for it. Why not? That is what it's called. Really. 83%. Okay, you actually made it. Good. <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay, so let's kill him. No. No kill, no kill, okay, just a stun, but absolutely fine nevertheless. And what bum is very close by, so he will be able to quite easily pick that up. Okay, okay, well, this is 2-1, I do believe. If we are able to prevent these guys from dealing damage to us, of course, we are just going to select a push right there. He's going to try and push and then get away. Or oh, not. He's actually going closer into our orcs. That's not a good idea in my opinion. But it is his choice after all. So let's just see here. Okay. So let's do that. There we go. Let's move them around there. Now where is Srinail? He's over there, isn't he? So I want to blitz this guy pretty badly, but I also want to pick up the ball, so we're going to pick up the ball. Oh my, he was actually lucky enough to pick up the ball, that's great. Okay, so we'll pick up the ball, then we'll move over here, and then we also want to move this guy over this way, just to make sure that we have a really nice box around this guy. We really do not want him to escape at all, so let's just try our very best to prevent that from happening. And then, a two dice block against this guy with a push. Hmm, Storm Vermin are relatively hardy units. Ah, there we go. That's what we like to see. But still no injury, okay. Well, so be it. And we are now going to be moving yet another guy around there and causing quite the cage to appear around this fellow. Now, can we actually foul this guy? 83% chance to foul this guy. I'm actually going to do it. Ah, we got a stunned. Ah, that's unfortunate. Serenail's probably going to get sent off, but so be it. Or maybe not. Maybe the referee had his eyes closed at that time. Wow, we actually let the storm vermin get away. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, okay. Well, maybe our Blitzer over here can actually pick that up. That's actually pretty cool. So, 
this is all resting on more cost. So let's try it. He got it. And now he has an 83% go for it roll. Okay. It is in the hands of the dice gods. And there it is. Thank you very much. 2-1. Very, very good. Okay, so thankfully enough, one of our blitzers has now gained yet another three star player points, which is very good. And that, I believe, is that. Very good. Okay, so basically they are going to be playing out their one turn. And they have a couple more rats on the field for us to deal some damage to. So let's try and actually get that going, shall we? Ah, a free bonus turn. Well, I don't know whether I really want a free bonus turn, but I suppose I will. Move a black orc over there. And one over there. And we're actually going to get Serenail a little bit closer. Just so that we can deal damage. Devastating damage. And we're going to be placing one of our linemen in here just to fill the gap as well. We're just going to go complete bash right now. And I believe that seems good. That actually seems good. They are actually going to be playing their turn. We actually don't have a turn, which is kind of pointless. I'm not entirely sure why we even set up our lines there. But I suppose it's for eventualities like that. Double attack at... Oh my goodness. And an injury. Oh wow. Okay, so there we have it. Very nice indeed. And hopefully he's going to... Yeah, he did actually get player points for that. That is impressive. Very, very nice indeed. It's nice to see that the dice actually gave the Skaven their comeuppance in the end. Because, of course, at the start, it looked incredibly dire. But thankfully enough, now we are pretty good. We're doing pretty well. Oh, I'd like to re-roll those winnings, thank you. There we are. 50,000. That's a lot better than 20, of course. Grohar wants to join your team. He didn't gain any player points. I'm going to turn that down. Because the other guy has now restored himself. And Srenail is an absolute beast. Look at that. MVP. Wow. 18 armor breaks we were able to get there. Two touchdowns, of course. And various other statistics right here. <laughs> 55 blocks succeeded. Wow, we actually ran more yards than the Skaven as well. Which is quite surprising. Okay. And there we have it. Very nice indeed. Look at that. We gained a lot of player points there too. So there it is. You have been promoted to the higher level competition for the next league season. You have joined a competition. Yes, it's a new one. So as we get... Oh no. We're against the humans again. Okay, so before we do anything else, we are just going to go over to the team roster and level up Srenail, who has gained just so many player points. And we're going to hope that he gets a good level up. Okay, so we can get strength... Or we can get a general skill. What are we going to get? Well, sure hands would definitely help him with the ball, but he doesn't seem to be doing that too much, does he? So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe Frenzy? I don't really know. I think Frenzy would be pretty cool, to be honest, because that would enable us on a push or a stumble to just follow it up. But he doesn't have enough strength to really deal with that. No, he doesn't, so... Let's see. Oh, I like tackle. I like tackle quite a lot because that means that players with dodge will not be able to do that if we get a stumble. So that would actually be really nice. I think that would actually be really good. I would like to go for piling on because that would just absolutely destroy people and cause a lot of injuries. But I feel like tackle is going to be a lot more useful in the long run. So let's do that. Hopefully that's actually good. We'll just see. And anyone else? Anyone else leveled up? Nope. Srenail appears to be the only one that's actually leveling up apart from Watbum. That's really quite disappointing. I think we need a couple of our other players to gain a good amount here. Well, this guy is going to be returning as well. And one of our Black Orcs is going to be missing the next game as well, which is unfortunate. But nevertheless, there is another match of Blood Bowl 2. And so, I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.